And we're live. Okie dokie. There you go. Are we doing it live? We're live. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Yep. I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, well, let everybody else here in Chitty Chat know. Chitty Chat? Chitty Chat? <laughs> Speaking of Chitty Chat, welcome to Mecha Wolf Chat. It's episode one, officially. Last one we did was kind of, that's going to be the secret episode zero. If anybody's horribly unfortunate ah, enough to find the prequel. It. Yeah, on Twitch. I don't think it even saved on the VODs. I could check in a second. We're just doing this. Gonna play some Dying Light and talk about things. It's it's more about the, the chit chat more than the gameplay, really. I mean, Most uh, of that. Let everybody in our Discord know. <clears throat> So what's been going on with you, Ian? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should probably do introductions, because I'm distracted trying to do a million things. And you guys are nerds, so you're not going to do it. It's okay. uh, myself. I introduce myself. Oh, okay. Well, you want to... You, you go ahead and take the lead there, Josh. Okay, yeah. fine. My name's Josh. I like tacos. See, that's not so hard, is it? No, it wasn't. You really... I feel pretty ashamed of myself, really. Um, it's myself, though, Steve Tom Sawyer. I'm joined by my friends Ian Aspton, Joshua Wright. They were here with us on the last one. They're here again. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. No problem. Okie okay, okay, dokie. Neat. So, Neat. <laughs> if you guys are uh, tuning in, I really do appreciate it. Uh, support in these early days is going to mean everything. We're going to try to do this a lot more frequently. Uh, and I'm throwing out some tweets right now. Tweets and tweebity tweets. Did you uh, respond to the Special Reserve Games poll there, Ian? Either one of them? Yeah, I did. I did. I did to both of them. Steel Box for Life and Big Box. Both. What if we had like a big box and then inside was the steel box? Whoa! Ah. It's really weird. It's really weird. I buy movies now. Like whenever Best Buy like does like or like does this, like a Blu-ray release or whatever, like with Mondo, that's it. I don't I don't buy movies other than that now. I found out about the media Blu-rays. You seen that the media books? Yeah, yeah, like, it's it's the same thing, where it's just, like, the title's, like, on the spine, and then, you know, well, that's like, what you mean, right? No, there was, like, one for the Babadook, I guess, and it was, like, a pop-up book, dude. Oh, that's even more neat. I have to say, a lot of these, like, ancillary materials that they're releasing with stuff are really cool. Like, they're, they're really cool collector's items and everything. I just... I, I wonder so about, like, like ancillary you know, ancillary two, three years later when you're sitting stuff. there and you're looking at your steel box in your game and you're like, oh, man, I enjoyed playing that. And then you've got your, your art book and you're like, oh, but I got to move. So I think this is going to Goodwill. Hmm. Well, I have, like, tons of, like, art books and comics and stuff, like, on bookshelves and stuff like that. I mean, like, most, like, I go between both, like, uh with like digital stuff for my tablet i mean i still have like a, a physical stuff as well too okay i've never been a collector of like ancillary materials i've always just been like yeah i want the game posters cool art books cool but you know i just i just want the game mm -hmm. you hopping in ian or what yeah, yeah. I was just double checking the thing. All right. And All there's right. another Ian. Oh boy. Oh hey, there's British Ian. And it's fucking late. I'm tired and I can't sleep. Yay! Well, that's <laughs> what uh, drugs are for. <laughs> not a sponsor, just a fan. Yeah, I'm like stimulants are great. I'm not not it's not a sponsored post. I'm just saying I'm I'm a fan. <laughs> I have that Kopesh 
ready to go. Egyptian Kopesh, some stuff in hand. So, when did you guys start streaming on YouTube, of all things? You just, like, ditched Twitch or something, or...? No, we just are trying this out for the sake of, like, saving the the VOD a little bit more. Because, like, we did the Twitch thing, and I think that works, but if we want to save it, like, as, yeah, if we want to save it as more like a, a podcast kind of a thing, I think mm-hmm. YouTube is probably better for us. Fair enough. I'm getting stutters. Is it because I'm trying to stream this on Ultra? Probably. Maybe, because uh, I don't hear anyone stuttering, so... I... Oh, no, no I mean you're probably, the graphics. Right, okay, you're talking about the game. Yeah, the yeah. the game is really choppy. Oh, it's, it's evening out now. Alright. Kind of. Mostly. YouTube streaming might be a little bit more resource intensive. I don't know. This game is also pretty chunky. Yeah, it's. Uh, I had to get a whole new PC just to play it. Wowzers. Damn. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my old PC was oh, not um, everything on not the best. What's what's your latest setup? Uh. It's, uh, uh, hold on, my brain, I'm also very tired, so, um, it's an i7-7600, uh, baselines at 3.6, and overclocks to 4.2, um, the video card is the, uh, uh, not NVIDIA, what's the other guy's? AMD guy. AMD? Yeah, AMD. Yeah. Uh, um, it's, it's the ATI uh, 560, 580, I can't remember which one, but it's their 8 gig card. Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 100, or 800 watt power supply. Um, uh, the It was a really good system and I got a good deal on it because I just didn't feel like building my own. But the crazy thing is that it came with a regular one terabyte hard drive so i have to now buy a solid state drive so that everything does not boot up at the same pace that my grandmother gets out of a chair <laughs> um do you know if uh, your motherboard will take a uh, an m.2 solid state uh, i think it will it's a fairly new motherboard it's a um uh, gigabyte something or other, like one of their higher end models, as opposed to uh, like just a baseline. Okay. I mean, I I can put a an M.2 into my motherboard. It's just the M.2 drives are haven't really dropped in price, so <laughs> I haven't been able to get one. I've only got a a, a typical two and a half inch uh, drive. Which, you know, it does the job, but you can get ridiculously high speed uh, M.2 drives now, which is like, hmm, want to read uh, <laughs> three and a half gigabytes in a second? It's just like, ah! Oh, I figured out uh, why it was like, I'm getting whomped on? Yeah. Oh, well. And I'm dead. Well, you oh, know. What? There it is. There we go. Uh, All right. It's sort of frozen a bit. No, there we go. Right. Oh, and no, and you're dead. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm totally fucking dead. Uh, it's still stuttering. Hi, I have weapons. Oh Jesus, dude! Put the gun away. You're gonna co- you're gonna get them all over here. Oh, he's he's like just as high level as I am. Oh, okay. So if me yeah, and him are doing it, yeah, if me and him are doing it, nothing too crazy will happen. But if it was just me and you, then I'd be like, ah, fuck. I'll come I'll come back to you guys. Yeah, it's a little bit more stable now that the output's scaled down. I have to remember, like, my weapon, like, how to switch weapons and everything, too, though. Ah. Alright. 
it's right <laughs> on the D-pad. That's hilarious. You've got on a Canadan shirt. Yep. Hi guys, I brought some friends. Oh, why are we gonna? Okay. What the? Hi hell? there. All right. Stop it. <laughs> Where are you going? No. <laughs> 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 what are right. you doing down there? So, uh, what does what does everybody think of uh, the reveal of uh, Mega Man Eleven today? Not a Mega Man X game, but it's cool. Is it for the Switch? Uh, Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and C. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, it's really interesting because it's like, everybody's now wondering why the fuck Mighty Number no. 9 came out. Because this, like, if you actually watch the video, it looks way better than Mighty Number no. 9 finished off as. <laughs> it's it's quite funny. It's like, I was, I was just watching the videos and I'm like, ha! Huh. Capcom made their own version of Mighty Number no. Nine, and then you might actually have done a better job at it. <laughs> well, yeah, it's amazing what happens when you actually use your licensing to like make a good product. Yeah, <laughs> it's like wait, hold on, Capcom is doing something with their own licenses. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, maybe they could make you know, maybe they could give that information to Square. Get Square <laughs> doing some of that shit. Or Konami. Well, Konami's dead. Yeah, uh, well, it's sort of... With Konami, it's a bit weird, because it's like... They, they're still making Bomberman games, but that's about it. And then they're just making all those pachinko games that, like, we will never, ever see. Yeah, well, okay. So... Square Enix had a big hand all in right. distributing... And licensing the last Metal Gear Solid game, right? No. No. It was all Konami. No. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was Konami. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're it's thinking of Hitman. The last thing they did. What? You're thinking of Hitman. Yeah, it was Hitman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hitman. okay. Okay, we gotta go find. We gotta go find lighter gas. Search the town for lighter gas. Butane. So we gotta find lighter gas. If we do, we get a blueprint called Kill 'em and Grill 'em. Sweet. Um, I would say that the big thing that I've seen recently that I'm really looking forward to is Sea of Thieves. I think Sea of Thieves looks like a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, but my my only gripe is is that there's Scrounge so everything. many games like that. That it's almost... I, I feel it's just going to get ignored. Like... I mean, uh, it'll, it'll probably be, like, a really interesting game. And I, I, I won't knock it. But the problem is that there's so many other, like... Um, you know, those, like, sort of survival sandboxy games that, like, it will probably just get lost. Mm. Mm. I mean, that's uh, the thing with those games. They either succeed huge or... They don't. Like, they Ark just, was one of just, those things, and just, it became massive, you know? Alright, yeah, just kick that mic around. Kick it around. Just kick that mic yeah, around. Yeah, just, just punch that microphone all yeah, over. Yeah, just, just eat it, Ian. Just eat the entire microphone. Well, was I, was I eating microphones and stuff? Maybe. Were you? Well, no. Someone was punching their mic. Okay. <laughs> All right, I found some lighter gas. I found two already. Uh, just keep breaking into houses and see what we can find. The reason why I think, uh, why I think Sea of Thieves will be a little different, is because most of those games, like Ark, um, and a lot of the the games that are similar to it, they have persistent worlds and and same world states, but they're not. There's no level of, like, whimsy to them. This is going to draw the kids that are just coming out 
of their Minecraft days. And, you know, what better way to get them into something a little bit more competitive, a little bit more uh, intense than, you know, a game about pirates? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not going to knock the game. It's just that my, my problem is is that there's too many freaking games like it. Oh, there's hey, uh, games like it. Lemon, can you um, keep an eye on chat? Like, hold fast. And see if oh, there's yeah. anybody hanging uh, out. The Junior chat. monitor. Yeah, exactly. Uh, nothing is on the chat. I don't even think there's anyone here. Cool. <laughs> well, there's we like, should. Uh, we'll take a break here and do some tweets. In a, in a Holy minute. shit, dog. Yeah, it's literally just me. <laughs> Slicey <laughs> slice. Come here, Mr. Farrell. Slice. Bye bye. Say goodbye to your face. It's just me and Steve, and that's it. <laughs> there you go. Neat. Alright, I gotta get some more lighter gas. We just got two more to go. Hmm. Is that button you do for the radar again? A. Hold A, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I actually played yeah, that some... Sure uh, I, I played some Doom today. For oh, a yeah. change. Cool. And I, I actually started messing around with like I completely f forgot about the fact that there's the uh, the Vulcan settings as well as the um, uh, the classic view that centers the gun. I completely mm -hmm. forgot that that was a thing, and I was like, oh, I'm now playing with a centered gun at 200 frames per second on Ultra. <laughs> yeah, the centered gun is a cool little. Cool little retro feature for oh, sure. That, that was so, oh, so good. It was so, although um oh there was this bit that wound me up because like I couldn't figure out how to progress and it really didn't quite explain that there were boots that you had to pick out from a locker that was obviously open, but I just didn't see it. I was just like, what the hell are you and then you get the boots that allow you to double jump. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> now I know what to do. Where are you dorks at? I'm just looking uh, for lighter you're following this. Yeah, yeah, I'm following this to one uh, arrow. Oh. I think it's just pointing me to the wrong direction, though. Yeah, no, don't be going to, like, a waypoint. <laughs> the waypoint's nothing. Don't In people, fact, like, I'm gonna actually do it and stuff. The waypoint no, it's was... Going into the, it's a C point, that's why. Into the ocean. No. Yeah, it was near the oh, ocean. This one guy. Oh, yeah, that was to pick up a mission. I guess we could do that. Let's go over there and see what... Oh, it's inside. It's inside the skyscraper. Yeah, you're just in the safe house. That's where we picked up these missions. Nerdicus Max. Oh, it was just because the... The, um... the bulletin board. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. And dropping off the supplies thing. Oh, right. The airdrops or whatever. <coughs> slice, slice. Sure. Slice, that. slice, slice. That's what you're talking about, right? Oh, boy. Uh oh. I yeah. did the thing. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Time to run. I just have to remember, like, stuff. Like? I have to just remember, like, controls and stuff for it, you know? Yeah. So you like, because you have to, because, like... Lighter gas, lighter gas, lighter gas, and lighter gas. Damn, there were four of them in just one little closet here. Yeah, and <laughs> there it is. Hey. Chemicals, okay. metal parts. You can craft a new item. Alright, let's go turn it in. I'm already back up here. Yeah, just head to the safe house. Um, do any of you actually play PUBG at all? Mm, nope. Nah. No. The other day I got super close actually winning. I ended up being 12th. 
Oh, right on. But it, it did mainly involve me hiding, because there was actually a really long time before I even found a weapon. Because there was <laughs> a bunch of um, fuckwits that... Basically, everyone just decided to go into the, the obvious areas where you can, like, pick up the military stuff. And it was like, oh... I'm gonna be fucked in a minute, so I had to like run away because everyone was chasing after like the military weapons. Just like, what happens when you put a whole bunch of people in one place? <laughs> you know, I kind of harken back to what we were talking about earlier. I think it's funny that you were talking about playing PUBG because I feel like there are so many versions of that game out there. Oh, right yeah, now. there is. There's, Did you guys get it? Loads. Yeah. Now we got the bandages and meds thing. No, did yeah. you get the blueprint, kill him and grill him? No. Uh, what? Not yeah, that no, I, didn't, I didn't either. Are you kidding me? Because I just turned it in. Go to your blueprints. Yeah, that's what I just did. And you don't have grill him and kill him? Nope. Sure is nothing. Maybe you had to be like standing near me when I turned it in. No, I was standing right next to you. I did like did nothing. I don't even have. I don't even have like. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. you have to collect it from the guy. There yeah. you go. Fuck yeah. Uh, okay, it, cool. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Did any of you get any games during uh, Black Friday? No, I bought a bunch uh, of dumb death metal shit. I was pretty pretty tempted to get. Um, there was something like for like nine like nine bucks. Oh yeah, it was uh, the last Dozy uh, X, um, the Human Revolution one, but for like ten bucks at uh, Best Buy. Wait, that was thought about. That. What did you call that? Oh, he can't. He can't pronounce. Judaism. Yeah, yeah, he can. No, no, no! You don't get to use that as an excuse. Most of you people are French by heritage. That's French that you're speaking, and Latin. <laughs> well, either way, I can't pronounce it. So he can't oh, okay. pronounce anything ever. It like, and then the other t like the other day we were playing Elder Scrolls, and he was calling Wayshrines Wayshires. He's like, go to the Wayshire, <laughs> and I was like, and that's when I stopped him. I'm like, all right, that's enough. I go, that sounds too much like a fucking place that could actually be something in Elder Scrolls. I was like, so you need to at least get that one right. Because every time you say Wayshire, I'm like, did they add a new spot? Where's Wayshire? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Frodo, we need to get to Wayshire. To the Wayshire. <laughs> See, exactly. Exactly. I don't know nothing about trimming no hedges, sir. <laughs> or that guy from uh, Warcraft. Meldivin. Meldivin. Yeah. He is. Meldivin. I was like, you mean Medivh? He's like, yeah, Medivh, Meldivin yeah. from Warcraft. I'm like, Melvin the Wizard. What a noble name. <laughs> Alright, yep. Dinguses. Feel the ultimate firepower of Melvin the Wizard. Let's go find. No, I, I, I really won't, dude. I, I really won't. We need to just run around and try to find pharmacies to rip off. Yeah, that's what I'm, uh, I'm kind of doing right now. I'm just going around to a lot of the local stuff and seeing if I can find stuff. Also, look for ambulances, because there'll definitely be stuff in the back of the ambulances. Well, let's get away from the skyscraper, at least. The, ne the yeah. next time I play, like, a oh, sword wow. and sorcery game, I'm going to have to play a wizard and call him Melvin. <laughs> there you go. Now, now you can join us on Elder Scrolls. There you go. What, the uh, Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, we've all been yeah. playing it, and I'm the one who's, like, begrudging about it at this point, because I just feel like... I don't know. I mean, I couldn't even get into Skyrim. I mean, I, it, it, I've, I've already explained this story to Steve, like, trillions of times, so I'm probably going to bore the shit out of him, but, like, the only, like, Bethesda game I could ever get into was Fallout 3. Like... I can't get into um, New Vegas, I can get into 4, I can get into Oblivion, I can get into Skyrim. It's just like, why have they only been able to make one game I can get into? Maybe you just have poor taste. 
Uh-oh. Thanks. <laughs> New Vegas is great. I've spent like. Three... I just I just couldn't get into it though. I I got I got right I'm outside of the um the yeah, entrance to the, to the strip, and oh, I was just get, like, I'm oh, done. you guys get some company. I got it. I mean, I I might go back to it. Yeah, it's yeah. just that. Uh, well, no, I, I completely understand. I had a friend for the longest time who couldn't get into any of those games. And it was basically because he just didn't enjoy long format gaming. He was very much so like a, a person who would play a Mario or a Mega Man or a Castlevania or something. But he didn't really get into like 30, 40 hour gaming experiences. That just wasn't his bag. But, but the thing is, I like I used to like play freaking like Final Fantasy for like... 80 hours. Yeah, it's so a totally different think... thing, though. Final Fantasy yeah. is like a collection of, of you know, miniature experiences. Like, Japanese game design is really good at that and breaking up, like, a lot of small, you know, individualized things into a greater whole, where, like, Western RPG development is, you know, just kind of smashing a bunch of ideas together and... And then just sort of letting you loose. Like, that's the thing about, like, Fallout, Bethesda, and, and just Western RPGs in general. It's just kind of more about creating a really cool sandbox full of interesting shit for you to discover. And then letting but you then off again, the leash. Like, like Breath yeah. of Fire. Uh, Breath of Fire. Uh, Breath of the Wild was, like... That was a, a, a fairly big... I'm trying to remember how many hours I put into that game. Yeah, but, like, I mean, that just might be your, you know, like, Link fanboyism. <laughs> yeah, because it comes down to, like, an open-world design versus a closed-world design. Every every Final Fantasy game is is more linear in that sense that you have the story, you're completing the story, and not really exploring the world. That's more of, like, the backdrop, whereas, like, Fallout and, like, Skyrim and stuff is like, yeah. here's the world, go explore it. Um, but, I mean... Breath of the Wild is like an open game. Like you could, you could basically attempt to do anything in any order that you wish. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's but it's still a much more that. guided experience in terms of like compared the, the to those other games. Yeah, the, the beginning is, and that's just because you need to get. No, that I, I'd agree with you. It is beginning. a much more guided experience because. At the end of the day, you can essentially go to any town, and they are going to immediately reference you back to the main plot line. They're going to immediately reference you back to where you should be going next as far as the game is concerned. Whereas with Skyrim, you can you walk into any town, and before anybody ever talks about the main plot point, they're going to go, Oh, by the way, could you go do this like laundry list of shit for me? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Skyrim oh, wow. is lousy with that. How do we get in this pharmacy? There's uh, got to there be stuff. There's ambulance in the back. Um, no, no, no. There's got to be a way in this thing. You made me remember this thing that sort of wound me up hardcore about Skyrim, where uh, um, I was I was walking along and I had like this um, companion with me. It's up we, here, Steve. Uh, oh. And I. There was this like this sort of weird hermit bloke came up to us and he was just like, Oh, there's there's this treasure in a cave, let's go and raid it. And we did. And then like literally about three hours later the okay. same hermit was like at a different part of the map wanted us to like raid Coffee. another freaking cave and I'm just like, Oh come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's fucking Skyrim for you. <laughs> like, that's the thing, though. At every point that you find a new place or you open up, like, a new environment, there's people there that are trying to get you distracted or pull you into, like, their narrative and the shit that they're, like, doing. And that's all in an attempt, you know, on Bethesda's part to develop a world that's full of interesting opportunities to suit, like, your play style. They're like, okay, you don't like the main quest? Why don't you do the Dark Brotherhood shit? Or... Why don't you do the Fighters Guild stuff, or, you know, the Mages Guild stuff, or... You know, whereas, like, Final Fantasy is always, like... You gotta... Oh, yeah, you, go yeah, go and fight gotta, the you, thing I to mean, save gotta, the world. Yeah, I, I can sort of see it from that viewpoint, because, you know, they're, they're sort of, like, trying to tell a story whilst 
you know, these Bethesda games, they kind of want you to make the story. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's even in their marketing where they're like, this is your story. You know, you go out there and and tell the story. Oh, this is your story. Just write a book. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think, like, the main difference between, like, a Final Fantasy and, like, a Skyrim is that Skyrim is fantasy off the rails. It's, you can go out there and find, you know, Shagorath and Shagorath turning people into cheese wheels, and you can also <laughs> fight a fucking dragon and get a horse and your own suit of armor and the whole nine yards, whereas something like Final Fantasy is on the rails. You can go explore whatever arena they put you in, but for the most part, everything's going to have a wall. Most of the buildings aren't going to be enterable. There's not going to be a whole lot that you're going to find that isn't meant for immediate, like, for you to immediately have discovered it. Whereas, you know, the, the, I think that's one of the reasons why The Witcher took off as much as it did, is because it found a way to perfectly blend an open world fantasy with that on the rails grind. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean... I think also, too, like, The Witcher just has really, 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 really incredible writing. And there's a nuance of choice where... um, I more of that. Yeah, I mean, in The Witcher 3, there's such a nuance of choice where, like, you do the the littlest, dumbest things that you don't think will affect the outcome of, of, like, a quest or, you know, a, a certain, like, plot. And you find out like every single little thing that you did counted in some small way that's always been fascinating to me about those games Ooh, get the fuck off me you little bastard <laughs> <laughs> so speaking it. of the Smash. witcher didn't change the topics here for a second as we were talking about projects that we're looking forward to uh cyberpunk 2079 i mean yes, you please. know when they show me more than some concept art and all that, neat. I mean, given their pedigree, it's probably going to be good. Uh, but yeah. yeah, just wait and see. Yeah, I mean, see more. I want to see, like, see more than just like robot strippers, like you know. Yeah, at this yeah, point. yeah, exactly. It's like <laughs> yeah, and it, it's it's like, can we see some gameplay rather than just oh, here's a name and here's some artwork? And I'm sure but they're taking they their funny? time with that shit because they want to make sure that what they show is really you know cool and gets people excited. And also, aren't they pretty notorious for holding on until like the last minute to release gameplay footage? No, not. Not really. I mean, I yeah. remember seeing Witcher 3 mm-hmm. stuff like two or three years before it came out, um, you know, at E3. That was like closed room demos and shit, but, you know, no one I've talked to has seen anything for Cyberpunk, so I mean, I'm sure that they're playing that. Not even the, in the secret whispers of the dark. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, when I see something more than you know a, a cool robo stripper then yeah <laughs> i'm sure it'll be good though like you know on, on some level it'll probably uh you know do something cool and new and neat that seems to be like a big thing for them um but like the witcher series in general has been a, a series where it's like you guys gotta at some point really just figure out your animations like yeah, because the first Witcher game hit at such a weird spot. Like, everybody raved about that game and then would also say, but you got to understand the combat is super janky. Oh, I mean, it was... Yeah, it was that weird Aurora engine from BioWare. Uh, yeah. So it was like... It was like weird timed clicks kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. Well, it, was, it was sort of... It was sort of... MMO like, but not quite. It was it was very odd. <laughs> yes. Um, and again, mm. I I remember like yeah that depending on there, when you clicked, was, it would oh, do like strong thing? attacks and it was. It weird. was it was a lot like that. Um, what was it? Dot hack that sort of uh, MMO, but not really an MMO, which was an anime and a manga and all that crap. And it was. Uh, uh, and there was like at least eight games of that which I didn't yeah now that I'm pretty sure was a Squaresoft product 
No, was it that was Bandai. Or was it I someone think. else. I think it was Bandai. Oh, okay. Bankai Namdo. Bankai Namdo. Yeah. Bankai Namdo. Bankai so, Bando. The story behind that is pretty simple. We were having a conversation about that company one time, and I accidentally switched those two words, and that's how it stayed for the rest of time. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> yeah, Namkai Bando. Well, you see, when he mispronounces stuff, it's on purpose. I see. <laughs> oh, no, it's not on purpose at all, but I'm not Canadian, so I don't have to take that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is true. That is part of the lore now. <laughs> oh, my God, Ian, why do you keep dying? What the hell is going on I back there? Him. I got him. I missed the garbage dump. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, he's literally like. In the fetal position beneath a train. Yeah, I saw that. Here, I'm gonna heal you. There you go. There you go. Jesus. Yeah, I have not fi found any medical supplies. Oh, I did and when I'm we looking. raided that pharmacy. I got some of the stuff we were looking for, but we need to find yeah, yeah. more spots. Damn it. You dorks. I'm creating a competition. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh -oh. oops. I accidentally cancelled it. Uh, okay. there's a goon over there too. I know. Oh. Did anybody oh, pick up um uh Jazz Jack Kravit from GOG yet? Nah. I loved that game as a child. I'm really tempted because I used to have a friend who died oh, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> I would love to be able to that <laughs> I saw that old fucking thing, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, you got blown Wait. into the corner. Oh, God. There's just a bunch uh -oh, of these guys. Uh -oh, uh -oh, just do it. Run. Yeah, just do it. <laughs> he didn't pop. Oh, because there's, uh, there's an offer going up with my okay. you can get. Uh, Jazz, uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit one and two with Epic Pinball for uh, for fourteen oh. quid. I'm just trying to work out what that is. In I grappled his lungs out. Like nineteen dollars. Yeah, something like that. Oh boy. There you go. It's it's just that I know that GOG has that like funny policy where it's like. We know that uh, values can't be exactly the same, so we do change the price slightly depending on area. And that's because Russians get the best of price. Um, <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> well, to be fair, a lot of those games are reissues and ports, so their investment, if they're seeing like five bucks off the return from that, They've made a serious profit. Yeah, it, it, there is a lot of margin pushing on them. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I, I totally. It's it's just that it, it's sort of like a nostalgia thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's really well, I did that. So we were talking about Black Friday sales. I bought uh, an old school PC game, kind of Jazz Jackrabbit era, um, Phantasmagoria, which oh, is damn. a an yeah. old school point and click adventure. Yep. My girlfriend had never seen it, never heard about it. So, and I was just like, oh man, just wait. This game has everything. Horrific depictions of women, um, a really, really uncomfortable rape I've scene, seen, yep. a, a horrible, horrible depiction of a mentally handicapped person. It's fantastic. It's like the 90s bad horror film encapsulated into a video game. My, um, see, I used to be a huge fan, uh, Time of, to get like, some point items point adventures to back in the day, and, uh, I had a friend who, you know, he lived in a, you know, a family that was pretty rich, and he actually had a damn nice PC at the time, and I used to play all these, like, adventure games on his PC, and, um, on, uh, a demo disc that he's, his dad got, like, it actually had the demo. Well, it, it wasn't a demo, it was like a, it was like a video for Phantasmagoria. And mm. when, 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 his, when his dad found us watching that, he sort of freaked the fuck out and, like, tried to throw the disc away. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, what's weird too about it is that Phantasmagoria came out at around the same time that Mortal Kombat did, and it was in no way, shape, or form as brutal or as harsh as Mortal Kombat was, but it's still... Yeah, it was, totally. I mean, it was, it was a different pedigree in its own right. Like, yeah. It, it didn't go into violence, it went into, like, mental issues and rape and all sorts of lovely crap, and, uh... Yeah, my friend's dad was not particularly pleased that we were watching a video about uh, that when uh, we were like I fell eight down or and nine. I died. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. Get away from him, you undead motherfucker! <laughs> Stop. What was the um? What was the sequel to Phantasm Warrior? I didn't think they ever made it. I know that one of the yeah, guys. There was... is. Was it Harvester or no? No, no. Harvester. That was a completely different game. There was a there was a sequel. It had a completely different name though. Uh, I'm gonna need to look this up. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure that one of the guys that worked on Phantasmagoria. Puzzle went of on to... Flesh. That's it. Puzzle of Flesh. It's cool. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. It is actually called Phantasmagoria too. I just thought it was just called a Puzzle of Flesh. But no, it is actually called, you know, Phantasmagoria 2, colon, a puzzle of flesh. And there's a GOG link. Oh, jeez. Oh, Oops. Yep. I'm just going to how the, uh, <laughs> the FMV sequences in all of this are, like, scamline to shit and back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How come you didn't spawn in the like... safe house right next to us? Oh, oops. Really? Okay. No, no, it's just the gaming is being dumb. Oh, I've got to love one of these, uh... <laughs> I've got to love one of these reviews. Hey, it's worth a playthrough if your Why? That's a, that's a great way of putting it. I mean, and that is that is essentially <laughs> Phantasmagoria, because, like... You know, you can beat the whole game in two, three hours if you know what you're doing. Hmm. Um, Speaking I, of that, have you ever played um, Have you ever played Dark Seed before? Oh yeah. <laughs> that game is. Oh my god. <laughs> the sequel. Ugh. I didn't ever play the sequel. I didn't know many of those games had sequels. I only. Yeah. Just the other the day we found out that there was a sequel to the seventh guest so yes the 11th hour and it was terrible oh really <laughs> i've 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 got i actually have a physical copy i managed to buy one from a freaking uh from game for like 50p and then i realized oh this was the reason why they were selling it for 50p <laughs> Because it, it's not very good. Se seventh guest is amazing, but eleventh hour is terrible. Yeah. I'm going upstairs mm. to sell some stuff. Have downstairs. you ever uh, Have you ever played the Voyeur? Um, I've heard about it. But I've never played. It. So that game, I, I haven't played it either, but I have watched a, a playthrough of it a couple of times, and oh man, that that game. If you want to talk about some uncomfortable topics, man, that game goes into <laughs> incest, political corruption, um, molestation, rape, like, and the whole time you're playing this character who is literally, like, listening to people's private conversations and occasionally scanning by windows where people are clearly doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've, yeah, I've seen that again. Because I had I had some um, friends at school. Who apparently, like what? Um, apparently, like managed to get a copy of the game and was like trying to explain to me how like you can e either watch them go at it or you could listen to the audio, but for some reason you can do both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Video games. Video yeah. games. Video games. Awesome video games. I guess we're not gonna get uh, sponsored on uh, YouTube now. Oh, well, we got like red flagged, banned. Oh yeah, this is demonetized <laughs> as soon as we started talking. 
Yeah, we did, we uh, we started talking about Phantasmagoria, and then Steve is like, "Oh God damn it!" <laughs> no, well, I don't wait. give a shit. I, I, YouTube, I will, on the other I will hand. officially petition YouTube. I am one of your lifelong members. I've been with you guys since the start, and you have people on YouTube talking about real life murderers and all the horrible things that they do to their victims. We're talking about video games. These are literally pre-scripted video games. It's fiction. <laughs> 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 Where you guys at? I'm running That's around funny. trying to find this crap. I can't find shit. Uh, we found a shit ton of coffee already. I found one out of three syringes. I found a few painkillers. Just the one painkillers, actually. <laughs> yeah, the coffee is the some... other thing we need. I I've been finding coffee left and right. Word. Yeah. I don't have that counter up though, so I don't know what how much more we coffee need. In this game? Everybody needs coffee and everything. Yeah, dude. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I mean, That's what does it do with life? Well, you give it to people that are gonna drink it. <laughs> okay. Does it it's, improve? It's the new currency. No, no you just give it to people and they give you money and shit for it. Oh, yeah. so you, you use it as a trade, right? Yeah, because people like drinking coffee, son. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Man, there are a lot of goons all over here. That's because they like you. I don't want them to like me. I want to touch your sweet, sweet inside meats. <sighs> no, man, that's my schween. Don't touch my schween. I said your inside meats, but okay. Oh, okay. I guess you're Schweener too. That includes that includes both. Yeah, you're in a Schween. Oh, actually, I I did. When I was Break talking about Black Friday, started. um, Dude. I managed to get some games off Steam on there. Black. Oh, I have bought the around. most Open weird shit game. I like. Open it up, I Ian. Got... What the fuck? Oh, it's this. Cool. Yeah. yeah, dude. What do you think I was talking about? I couldn't hear you because. You know, British Ian. God damn the Ians. Anyway, continue, other Ian. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I bought this game called Ace of Seafood. It is the like I, It's a third. It's a third-person shooter based on fish killing other fish with lasers. That like, sounds cool. What? <laughs> Listen. No one can question the absurdity of video games anymore. There's a game called Octodad. Okay, the whole game is about Octodad being a squid. Is amazing. Yes, yeah, it that is. That game is amazing. And so is fucking what Goat Simulator or yeah, all those games are hilarious. Dang it! Fair enough. <laughs> oh, oh, you pieces of shit! Get off me, you fucking undead flaming pile of crap! <laughs> I know. Someone's on fire and they just snuck up on us. <laughs> Like, oh wait! I swear. There we go. There you go. Got it. Oh, oh ho ho ho! There was a sword in there. There was a sword. A nice I juicy S sword. word. Yeah. We broke open a SWAT oh, van. Nice. Ouch. But is it an immortal pork sword? No. <laughs> no. <sighs> That's the greatest email I've ever gotten. <laughs> out of nowhere one day I got an, a spam email that said get an omnipotent pork sword and I was just like <laughs> oh, well I'm intrigued it's not immortal. yeah I was like I don't know what this is but I'm intrigued how do I acquire such a thing <laughs> I was just like omnipotent pork sword eh tell me more yeah Wow. That I, guy got I, I, fucked I will up. give you the time to state your case you have intrigued me. Continue. <laughs> oh, I fell over again. Head oh. smash. Okay, no. Hi, Blue. Hi, Puppy Blue. Mm. Lord, to clear pupper. Hey, we're podcasting, you nerd. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm dog. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to talk to my dog. No, not on podcast time. Talk to him on oh. not recording stuff time. 
<laughs> well, no, it was the human interest part of the podcast. Oh, okay. You know. It's going to be like five minutes of Ian going, Oh, Blue, what are you doing? I need you scratch. What are you doing? Most of that. So I was like, but, isn't it? But, Blue, what's your opinion about Black Friday and video games? There you go. You that's more it? like it. Mm-hmm. If you can get him to like whine and bark and stuff, like his intonations as to you know his opinion, then I'm all for Blue being a guest. He keeps on like chewing on my. Oh my god! Did anybody else see that zombie just spaz the hell out? Yeah, I know. I'm hitting them with an electrified hatchet, so. Oh, here. Oh, we're all here now. Cool. Yeah. That's oh. it. Steve, I still need you to drop me lock picks. Okay. I'm doing drop kicks. <laughs> Smash. Oh, I miss having bullets. Smash. <gasps> There's another SWAT van over here, brosifs. Time for drop. Ah. Oh. Man, I missed. Time for drop kicks. You dodged my drop kick? How dare you? God damn it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like she stuck her hand in a toaster. Bust open these vans. All right, all right. Let me drop yeah, some I'm picks. Yeah, I'm gonna cross this. I gotta drop some lock picks for Josh. Fuck! What the fuck just hit me? I swear to God, dude. Anytime I want to do anything. <laughs> you just get nudged. <laughs> yeah, dude. Zombos. Cool. All right. I I know. I'm getting you up. I got I got a bed kit. I'm good. Okay. There we go. Oh hey, there's a floating one. There you go. Why are they all coming over here? Oh boy. <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> you know You rock a man. I I have to say things explode in my face a little bit too too many times for comfort in this game. Oh, hell. Where? Oh my god. There's so many of them. Bye bye, dude. Smash. Alright, let me repair my Kopesh. Here we go. Slice and dice time. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that one's really good. Yeah, dude. Okay, drop a lockpick. Drop, drop okay, me, drop okay, me lock. okay, okay. Fucking hell. Here's... Uh, 21 of them. Actually, here, just have all of them. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. Sweet. Now, where's that SWAT van? Up there. <sighs> Bro, you know how it goes. You just gotta keep chopping at them. But pick up all the stuff, because that's mad cash. That's what I'm in the process of doing. I think we got enough coffee for these fucking bitches. Get off me. I got cigarette. Okay, some floating coffee. Some cigarettes, some cigarettes, some cigarettes, some cigarettes. No wonder all of these dudes died. They were all fucking chain smoking. Chain smoking with packs of coffee as well. I know, they're just running around with cigarettes and coffee and shit. It's like, who are you, Jim Jarmusch? <laughs> there, uh, yeah, that that was a great joke for the five people that are going to get it, Steve. <laughs> That's for the highbrow crowd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some art film nerd right now is like, hey. 
Oh, uh, god damn it. I need help. I'm coming. Jesus Christ. Oh, you were trying to bust that open. Yeah, and I got swarmed. Yeah, that that's that's what happens on this game. Sorry, I had to rip that thing off real fast. God damn it! Stop it! A fucking stupid thing. <laughs> no, no, and no. No, no, no. I said no! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. I think it's dead. No. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. <laughs> and I repeatedly hit Pep's uh, stabbing this corpse and yelling no at it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. I got this bastard. <laughs> Alright, I'll yeah. fucking do this. Cover me. Uh, lockpicks needed. Damn it! <laughs> I gave them all to Josh! I got this, cover me. Okay, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it was like I stood in front of the van and went, I got this, cover me, and something just walked up and went, PONG! There you go. Hey, alright, you're a, you're a pal, you're a guy. Here, I'll heal you. There. Open it up, I got your back. Stupid zombos. You don't have any bullets, Ian? I'm running pretty low. This is just because you don't get them up that often in this area. It's only in the, in the uh, city parts that we did. Mm. Alright, let me see if I can get my sword going really fast. Because you have to take out, like, the other, like, mercenaries like and military people. Oh, there we go. You got it open? Yeah, uh, I'm getting close. Three a.m. <laughs> Wicked saber slice. <laughs> Welcome to my sword. I got it. Really? Yeah. Nice. Good job, dude. Cool, it had a weapon mod in there. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, nice. Got some pistol ammo. Ah, yeah. Who just paints a door on a wall? Yeah, I don't know. That's pretty... <laughs> All right. Well, it it zombie apocalypse and Wiley e. Coyote and the Roadrunner are having some <laughs> 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 Love it. All right, let's let's go this way. Let's see what's in this building. Wait, there's <gasps> more ambulances over oh, here. Oh, dude, there's a fucking purple crate. There's a purple crate. What Someone... is... I don't know what that means. Crack it open. Come here, lockpick master. I'm I'm opening a freaking ambulance. Alright, I got like six or six. <laughs> Good job. Need some milk. Okay, we need we yeah. need syringes, right? There's syringes all over the bottom of this thing, yeah. but we can't use any of them. Fucking cock tees. Nice. Ooh, we craft something. Nice, alright. Oh, there's a blue machete in here. Dope, dude. Yeah. yeah. Where's the purple crate? He cracked it open already. Yeah, but I didn't get anything from it. Well, it's over where we are. I got an urban machete. I got a rusty French wench. Wrench. <laughs> I was about to say, a wench? You got a rusty French wench? That's <laughs> yeah. a, <laughs> that sounds like a raw deal, dude. <laughs> Give it back. Yay! We got enough coffee now. Of the junk. Oh, do we? Did we get enough coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah, we did. Turn in coffee. Up, oh, go back inside. Oh, God. 
Uh, Wowzers. Oops. You know how things go. I think it's time to leave. Hold on, there's one more SWAT van over here. Ah, oh, fudge. Batman. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I oh, don't want to die! <laughs> Just grappling hooked and then ran out. I was like, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Batman, peace out. Oh, I hate it when he does that. <laughs> I will say in the Justice League movie, it made me really happy when the Flash is just standing there after all of them have departed, and he just kind of does that, like, "Wow, that 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 was really rude." I, I don't I don't really know what that's all about. And then he just bamps out. Uh oh, yeah. I did the thing. <laughs> Oh, I'm gone, dude. I'm like, I'm out, so out of there. The hell? Nah. I do not remember getting this game on GOG. AD 2044. What the oh, I've heard of that game. Some adventure game? It, yeah, it looks like a really bad adventure game. Yeah, it's one of the free ones they gave everybody's account. Oh, okay, as long as it's a free one, because I'm, I'm thinking, wait, did I get really drunk and buy games randomly? That's how magic happens, man. <laughs> because progressively that has happened before. Oh, I think the dog's upsetting the neighbor again. Because he's racist. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because your dog's a fucking racist, dude. I've told you this over today. and over. You saw, you saw other people today. He made a new friend yesterday. Oops. He'll work in today. I just made a shit ton of noise crashing through a fucking roof. Hmm. Anyway, i see you guys later. <laughs> oh, hell. Woo. And I'm in the safe house. I'm in the skyscraper. Turning in quests. Here you go, oh, douche it's almost, water. It's almost in the night time, too. Yeah, I'm still a ways away. So I'm, I'm just praying the sweet Lord video game Jesus that I can get there before it gets bad. Uh, debatable. We still need more shit for this guy, I guess. Good to see you in one piece. Remember, you gotta look at the ledge. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm getting there. No, no, Ian's doing it, but he's not. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's <laughs> like... Oh, so he's not playing that properly. I'm playing Jazz Jackrabbit. And then this dude has free shit for you every day. The Quartermaster. Oh, yeah, I got that already. Hmm. How much do I have in valuables? Damn, dude, forty-eight hundred. Just from that killing Maybe spree. Do a windmill. A windmill. Numerous. Yeah. If you have like a two-hand weapon, you just do it. Oh do a yeah, curl. yeah, yeah. <laughs> See how many med kits I can make. Twelve. Oh, that's actually useful. I made it. I am alive. Night vision booster, stamina booster. Oh, if we all pause at the same time, it pauses. Don't freak out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's all that was. Yep, yep. Firecrackers, I forgot about that. Remember those? Hi, oh, yeah. Mm. Let's see. I can't make like any fucking cool the kill em and grill em is probably the most powerful thing you can make but the weapons I can put it on all suck hard 
shut up. I will find better stuff all mm. kinds of other places, you liar. Do you still have the bow? Mm. I don't think so. I think... No. Really? Unless it's in, the, unless it's in one of those... Uh, like inventory things there. And the stash. Check your stash. Oh yeah, I got it in my stash. Aw, yeah. oh, dude. You gotta totally use the bow again. That thing's so OP. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I have the grappling hook, even though I can't really use it. I got desert... Ooh, got the desert police rifle. Oh, you have to unlock the skill on the skill tree for the hook, right? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. It begins. Well, I'm gonna jump off, gentlemen. It's getting late. I need to get upstairs and take a shower. So, you guys have a good night. Enjoy the zombie killing. I will catch you manana. Alright, sir. Okay. See you later. Peace. Alright. See you, man. Explosions. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> wow. Crazy dog go. I need a granola bar or something. The sweet taste of granola. Yeah? No. Don't you like granola? I know that you do all that. I don't... Okay. And some marrows. Some marrows? Like bone marrows? No. Grass simulator? Best game ever? DJ Haran said... I don't know when you said that, man, but thanks for hanging out. Someone should have been watching chat, but none of us were. Because we're pieces mm -hmm. of shit. Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, damn. <laughs> yep. The truth hurts, man. Sorry about that, DJ. No, he's gone. <laughs> of course, he everyone's is. gone. No one's, no one's paying attention. Yeah, he's like these fucking assholes. Don't listen to me. I'm out of here. See you, dicks, later. Can't say I blame him. That's what I would have done. In these early heady, lofty days of Mecha Wolf chat. Ewok, why do you come out when you hear like the crinkle of plastic? You have you have issues. You have issues, you plastic chewing menace. It says it says a uh, siren call. He's like ah plastic. I awake from my slumber. All right, so I have a playlist of like 700 metal videos that's just infinitely going on my Chromecast. Let's see what it's on now. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Let's check it out. <laughs> ah. I wonder what band this is. Hmm. Mm. We're off to a good start. It's just hair and head banging so far. <laughs> And a beard. Okay. Alright, yeah. The staples of metal. Yep. This sounds like some straight up, like, black metal. Mm. It's just very droney and just. Oh, now no, we've got some breakdowns. So it's like death <sighs> Gotcha. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? La what I'm looking forward to, though, to, if we're still talking about video games, the Monster Hunter World Beta, mm. which is this weekend. But it's only on PS4, so 
Sean doesn't want to play it. <laughs> I hear them. Whispers need to die. Hmm. Sean doesn't want to play anything that's not like some like roguelike military shooter. Like uh like Day of Infamy or Old Faced. Hmm. Yeah, I'm crouching this game again. I forget. Oh, yes, we built them. Some of the texture on this on this book is kind of weird. Like some of the words are backwards, but then the rest of it's fine. Hmm. What? I'm looking at the books on the. Uh, oh yeah. On here, yeah. Like the new track one, like the names below, right below Geek are like all backwards and stuff, but then the like the rest of it's like normal. Weird as fuck, man. Well, I think that's a uh, a good spot to call this episode. We're going to do this again tomorrow. How about that? Okie dokie. Cool. So, thank you for joining us. Um, especially, yeah, you know, the you early folks who are checking it out. We're going to try to do this more frequently and make it more of a thing and hopefully marginally improve the quality here and there and things like that. So, for myself... Like observing chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, little things. For myself yeah. and the two Ians, have a good night, everybody. Good night.